Welcome to Seriously Read a Book. My name is John, and today we are going to read Tell Me a Tattoo Story by Allison McGee and illustrated by, I believe it's Eliza Wheeler. Um, this book has a special place in my heart because you may have noticed I have, I have more than one tattoo. This is a tattoo that's a king of spades. I have a tattoo here as well, which is a uh, it's ancient Coptic, which is a, um, it's a form of Greek writing from a very long time ago. So these, these uh, tattoos for me, they come along with stories. I got them at certain times in my life for certain reasons. And a lot of people who get tattoos, um, they get them in that way. They sort of mark important moments in their lives. So this is a story. Um, of a little boy who's talking to a dad about the tattoos that the dad has. So, let's start. Here we go. Oh wait, before we begin, do you know anybody who has a tattoo? I know a few people. I know a few people who have tattoos, including me. I think a lot of people are getting them these days. So, so this, this book might apply to a whole lot of kids and a whole lot of parents and a whole lot of people. Your parents may not have tattoos, but you may know people who have tattoos. So you may want to ask them to tell you a tattoo story after this. Here we go. Tell me a tattoo story. Oh, look, it's a, it's a daddy and a little boy. You want to see my tattoos? Daddy's doing dishes, it looks like. Mom's in the other room doing something. Why, little man, you always want to see my tattoos. Here we go, then. This one? Well, this one's from my favorite book that my mom used to read to me. Oh, look at that. That's his mom, and that's him as a little boy. Did she read it to me over and over? She sure did. Do you have anybody who reads books to you over and over? This one? This one says, be kind. That's something my dad used to tell me. I want to make sure I always remember it. Oh, and there's his dad. Oh, what's going on here? Can you tell? Oh, yeah, it's like he has a... Can you see what he has there? And what are they doing with it? So cool, huh? This one? This one reminds me of the day I met a pretty girl. <laughs> and there he is. And there's the pretty girl. You recognize the pretty girl? Oh, and look, there, there's a Ferris wheel in the back. There's a Ferris wheel there. What made her so pretty? That's a good question, little man. I'd have to say it was her smile. Have you ever met her? You sure have. This one? Well, this one's from the longest trip I ever took. It looks like they're they're giving him a bath in the meantime, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he was a soldier. Did I miss home while I was there? I sure did. Can you tell what he's looking at there? It's a picture of the pretty girl. Mm -hmm. This last one? Oh, look, it's a little... It's right there, above his heart. Huh, and it says 722, I don't know if you can read it, 2012. Just a little heart is all. Those numbers inside it? Just somebody's birthday, I guess. Whose birthday? Oh, some little man I know is all.
What do you mean this one's your favorite? This dinky little heart? I wonder about your taste in tattoos, little man. I really do. But I'll tell you a secret. If you come real close... See, I'm getting choked up. Happens sometimes. Even the guys who have tattoos. But I'll tell you a secret if you come real close. That one's my favorite, too. And that is... Tell me a tattoo story. Isn't that lovely? Short, sweet, full of love. Yay for tattoos. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time.